according to the map, there should be a big algae patch on the other side of this coral reef. That coral reef looks sick. It's all white. Hmm, let's stop and investigate. There's more sick coral over here. Captain, this coral reef needs a full checkup. Agreed. Peso, you and Shellington check this side of the coral reef. Quasi, we'll take the other side. No sick coral on this side so far. Whoa, that's a lot of algae. We might as well collect some while we're here. Huh? Quasi? Captain, it's me old friend, Parrotfish Pete. Hello, Pete. Uh, if you don't mind keeping your voices down, <laughs> I'm trying to sneak some algae. But why do you have to... Why do you have to sneak it? Because of those damselfish. They guard that algae as if it were a treasure chest full of gold mateys. Now, wish me luck. Here, keep off the algae. I just want my fair share. Nothing more, nothing less. Scram, damselfish only. They had you outnumbered, matey. Aye, but at least I got away from the scurvy little nippers by smirking sand. Oh, there goes my pal, Sammy. Maybe she can get to the algae. Yikes! Talk to the spikes! You're right, Sammy. Oh, my spikes protected me, but I didn't get anything to eat, not even a nibble. Look out! Coming through! <laughs> Get it, boys. Hi, Robert. Hi, Deep. Hungry? Yep. I give up, but I'm still hungry. Yep. It seems like a lot of fish on this coral reef are hungry because they can't get past those damselfish to eat. Hey, so to Captain Barnacles. We found more sick coral on this side of the reef. Meet us back at the gut, Peso. Captain, I think there's a connection between the sick coral on the reef and those damselfish. Damselfish grow algae to eat, but when they don't let other fish eat it, there's too much algae. All that extra algae makes the reef sick. You see, Pete and his friends keep the algae from spreading too far. If they can just eat some of the extra algae, the sick coral reef will get better. Yes, but damselfish are very protective of the algae they grow. They'll never listen to other algae-eating fish like us. Don't worry. We'll talk to them for you. Excuse me. We'd like to talk to you damselfish about a problem on the coral reef. You got a problem? Talk to the boss. The boss? The one with the big spot on his face. Uh, a big spot? Sorry, I don't see a damselfish with a big spot. Oh, yes. Damselfish can see colours we can't. If you want to see that big spot, you'll have to set your binoculars to... Damselfish vision. <laughs> what will Tweak think of next? Ah, that's better. Aha, the spot. Excuse me, are you the boss? Certainly I am. And keep off the algae. Right, um, we're the Octonauts, and we've discovered some trouble on this coral reef. <laughs> There's no trouble for us damselfish. We're sitting pretty with more algae than we can eat. Ain't that right, boys? Right, right boss. That is the trouble. Too much algae makes the coral reef sick. But you can save the coral reef if you'll just let some of the other fish eat some of the algae too. Forget about it. This is my algae farm, and I don't ever leave it. Now, scram! Whoa, easy, Quasi. We'll scram. Captain Barnacles, come in. Oh, Dashie, what is it? Something's not right. I'm getting a strange weather warning. Uh, meet me in HQ. Aye, aye, Captain. It's the biggest whirlpool I've ever seen, and it's heading straight for us. We'll be sucked right in. Dashie, prepare to move the octopod to calmer waters. 
Attention, Octonauts! There is a giant whirlpool what? heading for the Octopod. Please, put away any items that could fall or be broken. Activate launch now! That tunip, you found some strange objects in the garden pod. Well, let's go. Jumping jellyfish, they're eggs, but who or what laid them here? <laughs> What's tickling me toes? A vast Eto tickler, come out wherever you are. <laughs> in the garden pod. I saw it in the library. I almost captured it. It was a snake. <gasps> a snake? On the octopod? Are you sure, Peso? Yes. It was in my medical bag. It must have been a sea snake. Many kinds of snakes live underwater. Was it one of these, Peso? No. No. That's the one. A sea crate. They are the only sea snakes who lay their eggs on land and not in the ocean. Those must have been sea crate eggs that we found in the garden pod. But how did one get on board? I'll check the security cameras. There. Aha. So she snuck in in the middle of the night. And now she's trying to get out. Once sea crates lay their eggs on land, they immediately return to the water. She can't swim out now. She'll get sucked right into that whirlpool. Octonauts, find the sea crate and keep her on board until it's safe. Um, there's just one other little thing, Captain. Sea crates are poisonous. <gasps> poisonous? Yes, but she'll only bite if she's scared. We'll have to be very, very gentle with her. These handy snake grabbers ought to do the trick. Octonauts, let's find that snake. <gasps> that whirlpool is stronger than we thought. Dashy, activate steering wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. off this ship. Follow that snake! This must lead to the sea. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Captain, the snake is escaping through the lab vent. Let me see if I can help. I need to get into the sea. Why are you trying to stop me? We're just trying to help. There's a dangerous whirlpool out there. If you go out now, you'll get sucked right in. Seriously? We're so serious. <laughs> <laughs> 